Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. Now I've documented a lot in ancient Egypt, and one pharaoh I have talked just briefly about is Akhenaten, the famous pharaoh of the 18th dynasty that so much has been written about. I made one video where I just showed you the remains of Armarna, his ancient city. There is not much left today. And there's not really much we can go on but ancient text on the life of Akhenaten. But just to the east of Armarna are some tombs cut into the walls. And I made a video about the Egyptians' conception of immortality. And it talks about all the ancient tombs cut into the walls of the Nile Valley. And here, just to the east of Armarna, is some tombs and including this one the tomb of Akhenaten's right hand man Mary Ra and that is just how I am gonna pronounce it Mary Ra I think that's how you pronounce it if I'm mispronouncing that please let me know but this is just the entrance to his tomb and you can see it is unbelievably decorated here the craftsmanship is pretty impressive though a lot of the things have been uh, removed and desecrated. That is just the way it went on in ancient Egypt. When uh, one pharaoh's rule or his way um, after he left, the new pharaoh will come in and pretty much desecrate the symbols of the old pharaohs, even if they were related. Kind of a strange thing from ancient Egypt. But here is the high priest of Akhenaten, Mary Ra. He is depicted here at the entrance of his tomb. And this tomb was never completed. And he was Akhenaten's high priest up until the very end. And I think uh, Akhenaten's reign kind of ended kind of suddenly and violently. Akhenaten, I mean, if you wanted to ch stir things up in ancient Egypt, just change the religious ways. And... Uh, he really upset the high priests who really had the power in ancient Egypt. The only thing I can really compare it to, and I don't even like doing this, but politically, maybe Jack Kennedy, he came in, did things his own way, uh, pissed off the people who were really in charge, and he was removed. And that's really the only thing I can kind of compare Akhenaten's reign to as far as something contemporarily. But here is the high priest of Akhenaten. Mary Ra at the entrance to his tomb, and all of these uh, writings etched in this tomb here. It gives his royal titles, or his titles here included are the Royal Chancellor, Beloved of His Lord, High Priest of Aten, and the fan bear at the king's right hand, Mary Ra. So those were some of his titles. But you can see here just the impressive artwork. And all images of Akhenaten and Nefertiti were removed. I find this interesting right here. Obviously carrying an ark of some sort here. But if we just look around this tomb, there are so many fascinating depictions and a lot of the times in high priest tombs it would kind of have a story of their life and much of this tomb is strictly related to Akhenaten and here you see the symbol of Aten here and that is clear all over the tomb but here you can see where Akhenaten and Nefertiti were depicted they have been totally removed that is just a common thing all the way through dynastic Egypt, probably starting with what we know as the Sphinx, having its head, original head removed by the earliest dynasties of Egypt. Here we see Aten, and we see Akhenaten in his chariot right here. And to me, it looks like he is depicted as being naked, and that's the way Akhenaten was depicted a lot, not wearing much at all, if anything. And here he is in his chariot, and looks like he's naked. And uh, I will leave a link to a video um, I did maybe a year ago where Ralph Ellis had an in interesting theory where being naked in the Garden of Eden, there was a lot of veiled references to Akhenaten 
the Nefertiti in the Bible, and they were always naked. And he thinks that a lot of the story coming from the Garden of Eden is actually coming from the Garden of Aten, and I will leave a link for that video below here. But I just find that interesting how he's depicted here. But the artwork is unbelievable, and I just find this fascinating, this tomb here. I will leave a link below for the person who took this photograph on his website. And on the far wall here that leads into the main tomb, we have, I believe this is in hieroglyphs, the Adoration of Aten, the Song to Aten. And I will also leave a link for a couple videos, but people have brought out interesting parallels, direct parallels between the Adoration of Aten or the Hymn of Aten and to Psalms 104 in the Bible. There are many things very similar. Once again, I will leave a link below for that. But here you see uh, some pillars. And obviously this would have been impressive before all the desecration took place. But still, this is absolutely fascinating here. Just the intri intricacies of this artwork. And not sure what this all represents, but there is a story here. And it really has all to do with the greatness of Akhenaten. He was kind of an egomaniac. He changed things in Egypt that really stirred up the storm in Egypt as far as the high priests and those people who were really in charge, I believe. This is Akhenaten and Nefertiti again. Or this could be actually Mary Ra and his wife here being depicted. It's all kind of vague and hard to decipher. But here is very clearly Akhenaten and Nefertiti here. A lot has been made about possibly finding Nefertiti's tomb off of King Tut's tomb. This was mom and dad here of Tut. But I just find this artwork fascinating the high priest, the right-hand man of Akhenaten, up until the time he died. His tomb was never finished because I think the dynasty came to an abrupt, possibly violent end. But here is the tomb of Akhenaten's high priest. I find this extremely interesting. Once again, I will leave some links below. But I just thought that was very interesting. Not much is still remaining from Akhenaten's reign. I will leave a link for the video showing the remains of his ancient city and a couple other things I mentioned. But this is down in Tel El Armarna, where Akhenaten pretty much wanted to make his own city between Cairo and Luxor make it all his own. Hope you thought this was interesting. You have a nice day.